welcome to Just Try This with me, your host, Mookie. Today we're going to be making a really easy guacamole dip. Um, so let's get started. First I'll just grab out my mixing bowl and for the ingredients for this um, you're going to need one medium onion, a jalapeno pepper, and three avocados. I like to add a little bit of salsa and a little bit of hot sauce just to add a little more heat to the dip. So when I start, I like to start by first cutting up the avocados. Sometimes they can be a little bit tricky. So in order to cut the avocado, I like to cut right through the side, avoiding the pit. So now I have most of it peeled, sometimes a little bit gets stuck um, in the outside rind. So what I do is I just like to take a spoon and I just scoop it right out. It comes out fairly easily. Sometimes <laughs> it flies around, you just have to be careful, just go with it. And that way you can get most of it out. Then with the rest of it, I just kind of cut it up into little pieces. Again, working around the pit. I have two more uh, avocados that I need to cut up, so I'll get that started so we can get the dip going. So now that we have all three avocados already in the bowl, the next step is to go ahead and cut up your onion. I like to cut off the ends first. For me, it just makes it easier for me to peel it. Okay, now that we've peeled the onion, we're gonna go ahead and just cut it in half. Start slicing it into small little pieces. The amount of onion that you use is just kind of based on your preference. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. I like to cut the pieces um, small enough so that they're not too big into the dip, but also big enough that they kind of get on your chip as well. So just add those to the bowl. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cut the jalapeno. Again, I like to just kind of cut off the back part, slice it right down the middle, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, scoop out all the seeds as those can be really, really hot, um, and make sure that you wash your hands really well after you handle these. Don't touch your eyes or anything like that because it can really burn. So I've gotten the seeds out, then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into as small pieces as I can. Again, the amount you use is going to be based on the level of heat that you want in your dip. <laughs> and then just go ahead and put those in the bowl as well. Go ahead and get some of the oils off my hands. Stir those all together. Um, at this point you can add a little salt and pepper if you'd like as well. Okay, and then like I said, um, I like to add a little bit of salsa in just to give it a little more zip. Um, it's optional though, you do not have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, I just use a spoon and then I just kind of put spoonfuls in. After a couple, I just kind of mix it in, see where we're at. Okay, and then to finish it off, I just always add a little bit of hot sauce, um, just because I like everything to be pretty hot, so. And then you want to just mix it up really well. Um, to finish it, I usually will take a fork and mash it also, just to kind of get uh, most of the bigger lumps out. Okay, now that we have all this mixed up, I'm just gonna go get a serving dish. Okay, so I have a really festive serving dish here. I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon in the guacamole. I'm 
also just going to grab some chips. And then to finish it off, I just put chips all the way around the plate. Now I'd also recommend um, serving it with salt and pepper and also just a side of um, hot sauce, just in case somebody prefers it a little bit hotter than you made it. So this has been our first installment of Just Try This. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I hope you enjoy your dip. We'll see you again next time.